Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm finally getting around to filming my skincare routine. I've been getting a lot of requests for this and I've just been wanting to film it for so long. I don't know why it took me this long to get around to it. If you guys have been around on my channel for a long time, my original username was actually Skin Deep Beauty Tips. So we're throwing this like way back, like 10 years. We're getting back to the basics. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through all the products that I use and this is pretty much my nighttime skincare routine because in the morning I don't do a whole lot. I basically just rinse my face and apply a moisturizer or recently I have been using this IT Cosmetics Miracle Water. I just put it on a cotton round and cleanse my face and then apply moisturizer. So it's just like a three-in-one glow tonic, skin brightening, anti-aging, and skin softening. Look how pretty the bottle is. So I've really been liking this. Just started using it like a couple weeks ago maybe. When looking for skincare, I used to always look for products that were acne fighting and I was obsessed with clay masks. I would use them like every day and I feel like my skin got super dried out just because I was trying to fight my breakouts so much. Also just using products with lots of like active ingredients in it. I am able to control my breakouts pretty well now and I think that this routine has definitely helped. Um, I do focus more on just like hydrating, just really cleansing the skin well. I think that actually works better than me just like trying to constantly like dry out and fight breakouts. But also everyone has a different reason for why they're breaking out. So definitely try to get down to the root cause. For me, my forehead breaks out from stress and I totally know when my forehead's gonna break out because I can just feel it. I do have some like marks left over. I don't know if you can tell. I'm not wearing makeup on my face today because I wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like right now. But also I feel like this lighting is kind of helping smooth things out a little bit. Diet can be a huge factor too. I would recommend getting your blood tested, allergy testing. A lot of people have intolerances to certain foods that affect their skin. Products can totally play a huge part in it too. Maybe you're not using the right type of active ingredient on your face. I definitely found for me, I think benzoyl peroxide works a lot better on my skin versus like salicylic acid in most things. So there are different active ingredients that you could try out. It's super important for me to just be in like a good routine with sleeping, eating well, drinking water doing my skincare routine every night and if I have a good routine down I feel like my skin stays pretty clear. Because also when you're in a good routine it's really good for like your mind and stress levels and all of that. A lot of it is just like internal but good products definitely help too. So I know that's kind of a long spiel. If you guys want to know what supplements I use I do have a video. I talked about the supplements in my hair care routine and those are the ones that also help with my skin. So definitely go check out my hair care routine. I will link it somewhere. Finally, jumping into the products. I do have eyelash extensions right now, so I don't really wear a lot of eye makeup. But if I am wearing eye makeup, I always remove that first using my Bioderma Micellar Water. This stuff is amazing. I know there's so many of these like micellar waters out there now. This is just like the OG, I feel. So I still love this one. And I just put it on a cotton round and remove it from my eyes. I'll also use one to kind of get rid of anything on my face just as like the first step. Lately, I've been doing the double cleanse method and I feel like, I don't know why it's so hard to get everything off your face, but even like after three cleansing steps, you can have stuff still on your face. So I always go in with an oil cleanser first. I'm using the Shuyumera Skin Purifier. This is actually my third bottle of these Shuyumera cleansing oils. The first one I tried was in the green bottle and I think that one is still my favorite. And then I went to the brown bottle. It was like a beauty oil. And then this one is Sakura, Sakura? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pore Finesse 2. Sakura Refreshing Cleansing Oil. They're all kind of similar, but also different. Same, same, but different. So they have like a whole line. Yeah, I think I would say the green one's my favorite, but they all work pretty good. So after oil cleansing, I go in with a cream cleanser, and lately I've been using the Confidence in a Cleanser by It Cosmetics. I love this brand. I don't think I've tried a product from them that I don't like. And right now I'm super into like anti-aging products or just anything that's going to hydrate and plump your skin. That's what I'm all about. So this one is for all skin types. It's a skin transforming, hydrating, cleansing serum, anti-aging armor. So I love a cleanser that's not going to dry out your skin. This is amazing. I also have the matching moisturizer that I'm using right now. So I do really like these. So basically done three cleansing steps already. And then I always go in with a toner and I've been using the Ula Hendrickson Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. I actually had this in my makeup collection or like my skincare collection for so long and I had never grabbed for it. And then I watched a bunch of videos from Desi Perkins and she always talked about how this like helped clear up her breakouts. And I was like, I think I have that product in my drawer. So I grabbed it and I've been using it. I'm almost done this bottle. I haven't noticed that it's done anything crazy for my skin, but it smells like the spa. I like it for a toner. I've never noticed anything crazy 
when using a toner for myself personally. I also really like using Witch Hazel. That's a great natural toner. I just don't have it on me right now. If I'm not using this, I will go in with the It Cosmetics Miracle Water and just do a final cleanse of my skin on a cotton pad. And you can kind of see like all the makeup and dirt that's still left over after the double cleansing and like the makeup removing. It's so crazy. But I think doing those three steps have really helped keep my skin clear just because you're making sure you're getting everything off of your skin. It's so easy to leave things behind if you're not doing multiple cleansing steps. The next step is to use a serum or if I'm using any retinols or oils, I go in with those. So I kind of go between these two or this. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. You want to make sure you're applying this after you cleanse and before you moisturize. If you are not using a serum in your skincare routine, I would highly recommend it. It just helps so much with hydration. I definitely think you will notice a difference if you throw in a serum. So I have really been liking this one. It's super popular. I think this has been around for so long, so it's like tried and true. But I kind of alternate between using that or I'll use these two together. These are both from The Ordinary. This is the Retinol 1% in Squalene. Squalene. And I've heard mixing on if this retinol actually does anything. I did a whole bunch of research into retinol and if you want to use like an actual full strength or I don't even know how you say it, but you actually have to get it like over the counter. A lot of people who use that say that like, their skin like flakes like crazy, but once you get past that, it's just really good for bringing out new skin. So it's good for anti-aging. So this feels super moisturizing and a lot of people say you still get the retinol benefits i don't really know i just like using it it feels good on my skin i'm also a huge fan of this 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil i just apply a very small amount and you want to kind of just like pat these into your skin for moisturizer i've been using the confidence in a cream by it cosmetics but it says this one is for all skin types and it is anti-aging so all about that i've also been using the charlotte tilbury magic cream i'm almost at the bottom of this one i was using this at night but it smells like sunscreen to me, so I ended up using it during the day instead just because I, I assume that there's SPF in it. Don't really need that at night. This one is pretty pricey. I think it's like almost $100 or it's over $100. I was sent it, so I used it and I liked it, but like there wasn't anything crazy about it that I would go out and spend over $100 on a cream. But if you like to splurge on skincare, definitely like look into it. I know a lot of people love this stuff. I'll be totally honest, I have not been keeping up with my eye creams, but these ones are my two favorites. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. When you put it on your skin, it's like really creamy at first, but then it almost goes watery and it's just so smooth and it's like thick, but you feel it soak in, I don't know. This just does an amazing job at hydrating your under eyes. This is definitely my number one eye cream. It's also great at using under your eyes before you apply makeup, as long as you let it soak in first. It helps prevent creasing and all of that because your under eyes are just like so moisturized. But for the morning time, I really like this one by Ula Hendrickson. It's a banana bright eye cream. There's vitamin C and collagen boosted. It smells so good and I love anything with vitamin C. I feel like it really does brighten your skin. So that is my daytime eye cream. I have a million lip balms, but I'm gonna throw this one in for like lip skincare. It's the lip sleeping mask. I have like hair on everything. The lip sleeping mask from Laneige. I actually have it on right now because I use it in the daytime too. This one's new, so it looks like I've never used it, but it smells so good. It just makes your lips look so glossy and it stays on for so long. I would highly recommend this, especially during the winter if you have really dry lips this is just so hydrating it really helps get rid of flakes and makes your skin look I mean makes your lips look so plump and luscious this is like an all-time fave so that's everything that I do on a nightly basis and then I want to get into masks this thing is so cool it's very new to me but it's the Foreo UFO and basically there's these little masks that go along with it this one is call it a night this is make my day so obviously you use this one at night, you use this one during the day. There are these little sheet-like masks, but they're round, and you just stick them on this thing, and then it heats up, and you just move it around on your face, and it just makes the mask sink in faster, so it only takes 90 seconds, and you get like the full benefits of a sheet mask. I love a good mask, and this is just so cute, and it feels really nice because it warms up your face. Each of these little packages also just have quite a bit of the mask serum stuff in it so I like to just like squeeze it out and put it all over my face and then I'll use this but you can also just use the masks on their own so you can kind of just like 
smear it on. If you have this, it just feels really good and it helps accelerate the process. And I'm gonna be linking all these products down below, so go check that out if you're interested. I do like to use masks maybe like two to three times a week. This is my favorite hydrating mask, Calendula or Calendula, I think it's Calendula. But it's Calendula and Aloe. It's just a clear jelly looking mask, but the ingredients are great. I love Kiehl's. I will leave this on for as long as I can, but I think you just have to leave it on for like 10 to 20 minutes it says. But it's super hydrating and also Aloe is just great for your skin. It's one of my favorite ingredients, especially if you're trying to fade any scars you have or if you have a sunburn. Aloe is a natural healer, so if you have any like open wounds, if you've like picked at breakouts, Aloe is amazing for that. Overall, amazing mask for no matter what state your skin is in. This is another Kiehl's mask that I've been using quite a lot. It's the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I do find this leaves my skin feeling a little bit dry, so I try not to use it too often. But if I feel like my pores need to go clean out or if I have a lot of breakouts happening, I will use this one. Last two products I wanted to share with you guys are face tanners. I use these pretty frequently because my skin, especially my face is so pale, so I like to use these to just like add some life to my face. So I love the Million Dollar Tan Mermaid Mousse Extreme for face. You can get your face pretty dark with this stuff. So I like to put it on and then apply a moisturizer or put a moisturizer on underneath. If you have any dry patches on your face, it will stick to it and make it darker. So I definitely like to exfoliate and moisturize my face and get it prepped for that. But if I have self tanner on my body, I will definitely use this on my face. And just if I have like a little bit of a natural tan going on, I like to use this too because I don't tan my face in the sun or try not to anyways. <laughs> I've been using this one pretty frequently on a daily basis. It is the self tanning lotion from Luna Bronze. I showed this in my latest makeup tutorial, like my everyday natural look. This definitely gives you more of a gradual, not as extreme tan, but it still does a good job at giving you color. I also love the ingredients in this. It's very natural. The first ingredient is aloe and the second ingredient is coconut oil. I know some people can be sensitive to coconut oil. I don't have a problem with it. So I love that those are the first two ingredients. So so it gives you a little bit of a tan while also naturally moisturizing your skin, which is amazing. So that concludes my current skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys have tried out any of these products or what are your favorite products to use. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys found it helpful or you enjoyed it. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.